Hi guys and welcome to another episode of FIFA 15 Legend Cards. Now if you've missed the last two episodes it was done on the FIFA World Cup 98 and uh, basically what I explained was if EA did ever do special legend releases i.e. from certain teams from certain um, tournaments like you can see now these are the five I would pick if they're not already in the game already. So the first one is Roberto Baggio. Now if any of you guys want the ultimate team coins go and check out battlea.com and use this Discount code Bateson to get 5% off. If you need MSP, PS on a cheap game codes, go and check out G2A.com as well. And we're going to smash over 3,000 likes. That would be absolutely insane. So in the 1994 World Cup, Roberto Baggio will be remembered for his obvious penalty miss against Brazil. And Brazil did go and pick up the, uh, the title. I think it was... Um, I think that was the fourth World Cup. I may be uh, wrong with that one. The runner, runners up were Italy, and that's why Roberto Baggio is up there and in my selection. Sweden third, Bulgaria fourth. Now, the best player of that tournament was obviously Romario, but there's no point in doing a card on Romario because he's won in the game. Now, the five I chose are from the uh, top players in the tournament that year. Now, a few, few of you may agree with me, a few of you may not, but the first one, I went with was Roberto Baggio and the second one is Stoichkov who played for Barcelona at the time. He was an absolutely uh, ridiculous player. I think he, did he win? I think he won the Golden Shoe winner as well. I think it was a gold, the Golden Ball winner was Ronald, uh, Romario, sorry, and the Golden Shoe winner was Stoichkov and he was joined with uh, Oleg uh, Selenko as well. Um, so to have a Bulgarian legend card probably wouldn't mean much for chemistry. Obviously, you'd have to link him up with um, with another Bulgarian. But if EA did ever change their mind on the way chemistry was in the next couple of FIFAs, that'd be awesome. Like, given how how you see the card there with Barcelona and Bulgaria, and the next one we chose is obviously one of the World Cup winners, and it was Jorginho, the right back who played for Bayern Munich at that point. A lot similar to well, a lot similar to how uh, I can't remember the guy's name now. I had it in my head. I've forgotten the guy's name. It's a Brazilian right back who plays for them now. But uh, he was a solid. Helped the uh, uh, the Brazilian guys lift up the World Cup and was solid throughout. Now there could have been loads of Brazilians picked, uh, such of the likes of Dunga. But we did do Dunga in the 1998 one. So we're not going to recap them all. Uh, so these are going to be fresh faces which you've not seen before. Um, in the background also we have a few clips from the World Cup. Them lifting the World Cup. Um, but he will be a nice right back now. I don't think I've actually yeah we have I was thinking we haven't done a left back yet because uh, EA haven't released a legend uh, left back but if EA did ever take the stance of doing the releases like this it would be awesome there will be loads of legend cards about both on PlayStation and Xbox we can only dream of having it on both consoles and um the third, uh, fourth one, sorry, is uh, Jurgen Klinsmann, the current USA manager. Absolutely awesome player in his time. Also, guys, please do not look too much into the stats. They're just a visual representation of uh, the how the card might look. And the rating is obviously given from the tournament only, not their full career. Because uh, Klinsmann would definitely be up there with the rest. He played for Monaco at that time as well. Had spur, uh, um, had uh, spells at Spurs, uh, some no noticeable ones which you all may remember, being Spurs fans yourself. Um, but Germany had a, a pretty shit World Cup compared to uh, ones where now they're currently bossing, they're bossing the world stage. And I think that uh, Germany could go on to win the World Cup this year. I don't know if you guys agree with me on that one. I'm pretty certain it may happen. But who knows? The likes of Spain, Brazil could come up and pump it, and maybe even England with the uh, Liverpool lineup. So, the final one is Prude Hom. He is a Belgium player, 85 rated goalkeeper, I give him. Um, his hairstyle is just insane. Uh, and he did win the uh, Yashin Award, which is like the uh, best goalkeeper, most clean sheets. I'm not 100% sure what the Yashin Award means. I think it's. Uh, yeah, I think it's just the best goalkeeper of the tournament. I don't think it's clean sheets. So in the, the 1998 one, we did give it to uh, Bartes. Bartes would be an awesome card. But it would be nice to see some uh, very rare nations in there. Like you see the likes of Hadji. There's only one remaining in now. But it would be nice to get uh, a lot more wide range of them. So that is uh, Prude Hom in there. Absolutely awesome goalkeeper. Played for a club who I've never heard of. Uh, and had a very illustrious career as well. I've never even heard of him as well until I did a little bit of research on him. So... That was my five choices, guys. I want to know your choices from the 1994 USA World Cup. Let me know in the comment section below. 
If you are not subscribed to the channel, subscribe for more awesome FIFA 14 content. We'll be back tomorrow with another episode from the 2002 World Cup. So that'll be a very interesting one. Maybe a lot of you will remember players in that one rather than this. Because this one is quite an early on 1994. I was uh, 7 at the time. Pretty ridiculous. So smash that like button, subscribe, comment. And until next time guys, see you all later.